<laughs> to live, all animals need food. Predators are carnivorous, and thus for survival, they need to hunt other animals for their flesh, which is their source of energy and other nutrient requirements. In the hunting grounds, the predators are free to hunt down any prey for there are no rules in the wild, and thus, more than one predator often end up preying on the same prey. While almost all predators will hunt their food, others are scavengers, feeding on carcasses of animals they didn't hunt down themselves. Welcome back to another episode of Forever Green. Today's video is on 10 times animals fought over same prey. And you should stick around for number one, as we show you how cruel nature can get when it comes to survival. Number 10, cheetah versus vultures versus lions. This cheetah is busy enjoying its freshly hunted impala when a flock of vultures invades. The cheetah scares them away and gets back to its meal. The vulture keeps on creeping back to the eating cheetah, and every time the cheetah turns to eat, they close in and get closer. They are not willing to let the cheetah eat in peace. Tired of waiting to scavenge on what remains when the cheetah is done, the vultures decide to close in, and the cheetah is easily scared and flees. The vultures then dive into the dead impala, but before they could properly enjoy the meal, a lion attacks them and scares them away as well. The lion then disappears as quickly as it had appeared with the impala on its mouth. Truly, being a good hunter is only half the story, for one needs to be a speedy eater as well. Number 9. Hedgehog vs. King Cobra Hedgehogs are known for their undetectable quills, unlike those of a porcupine which fall off. They are small with cone-shaped faces and can fit in an adult's hand. When in danger, hedgehogs roll into a ball hiding their short legs so that the quills can cover the whole exposed parts. Capable of devouring a third of their body weight in just a night. Hedgehogs can eat just about anything ranging from fruits, insects, snakes, birds, mice, snails, and even lizards. The king cobra is one of the world's deadliest snakes and is the longest of all the venomous snakes in the world. In a single bite, the king cobra delivers levels of neurotoxin enough to kill 20 people, or even an elephant. This venom attacks the respiratory system, leading to cardiac arrest. Cobras feed mostly on other snakes, eggs, small mammals, as well as lizards. This inland bearded dragon lizard is out basking in the sun while munching on twigs when a king cobra, who is in pursuit of its scent, approaches. The lizard, unaware of the looming danger, is caught off guard by the cobra. The snake then injects venom using its fangs into the lizard, and patiently awaits the lizard's demise before it can feast. The venom immediately takes effect as the lizard can be seen grasping for air. A hedgehog who is also in search of a meal comes face to face with the tussle between the two. Seeing a free meal, the hedgehog feels quite lucky. However, before diving into the lizard, the hedgehog will have to go through the cobra first, which is now positioned, ready to attack. The cobra's strikes are however unsuccessful as they land on the hedgehog's spikes. The hedgehog then bites the cobra's tail severely, smelling defeat and pending death. The cobra flees, leaving the hedgehog to enjoy its meal of the already dead lizard. Number 8. Honey Badger vs. Two Jackals Honey badgers are skunk-like creatures, in that when threatened, they release a smelly, stinking liquid from a gland located at the base of their tails. Honey badgers are mean, invasive, and have been crowned the title of world's most fearless creature in the Guinness Book of World Records. For they are always eager to pick up fights with just any animal species, regardless of the size. They are omnivores who feed on anything and everything, with snakes making a quarter of their diet. This particular honey badger finds itself in a tight spot, literally. A python has coiled itself around the honey badger, ready to constrict it before swallowing it as whole. The honey badger is, however, determined not to go down as prey and tries to free itself. 
The tussle between the two goes on for a while before a jackal, probably drawn in by the commotion, joins them. The jackal tries to bite the python, which retaliates back, but misses its strike at the jackal. The python then bites the honey badger, a move that is less effective since honey badgers have such a loose and tough skin that even spears and arrows bounce off without inflicting a single bruise. The python, now more focused on the jackal to avoid being bitten, forgets about the struggling honey badger, which seizes the opportunity and frees itself. The tables now turn, and what seemed like a winning battle for the python becomes a losing one. Both the jackal and the honey badger begin attacking the snake, speak of the hunter becoming the hunted. A second jackal appears, and as the honey badger drags and attacks the python from the tail, the two jackals attack from the head. The honey badger is however determined to exert revenge on the python, and thus not ready to share its meal. The badger chases the two jackals, but they will not leave. The jackals work as a team as one jackal tries to distract the honey badger by biting its tail and hind legs. The other jackal grabs the python by the head. What ensues is a tug of war between the two jackals and the honey badger with the dead python. The three tussle with the fearless badger emerging victorious as it drags the python into the thorny bushes far from reach of the jackals. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. Number 7. Saddle Build Stork vs Eagle The Saddle Build Stork, also known as the Saddle Bill, is a huge bird with long legs, which could be as long as 14 inches. Their long beaks are red in color, with a yellow saddle and a black band. They are Africa's most bright colored bird. The joints of their ankles and knees are pink, while the other parts of the legs and feet are black in color. The saddle bills are experts in waiting for food in the mud. This means that they use their beaks to stir up the water to flush out the fish, but in the process, the water becomes muddy and the saddle bill will have to wash any fish they catch before swallowing them whole. Being carnivorous, their diet consists mostly of crabs, frogs, and fish. This saddle bill is frantically searching for a meal in these shallow waters. It can be seen wading using its beak. After a long search, the saddle bill finally manages to catch a small catfish. The saddle bill then tries to wash away the mud from the catfish before swallowing it. Unaware of another hunter within, the African fish eagle. The African fish eagle also referred to as the African Sea Eagle, is the biggest kleptoparasite of the bird kingdom. They have mastered the art of stealing prey from the mouths of other species. This particular fish eagle sweeps in on the saddle bill in an attempt to steal the catfish. The saddle bill spreads its wings to appear larger and scare away the eagle, but ends up dropping the catfish. The eagle then grabs the catfish and takes off before the saddle bill can react. The saddle bill tries to chase after the eagle, but gives up and reverts back to hunting again. Number 6. African Wild Dogs vs Cheetah In the whole sub-Saharan Africa, the African Wild Dog is the largest, most endangered canine. The African Wild Dog is a great hunter with gazelles, antelopes, zebras, and warthogs being favorites in their menu. Their strong social bond ensures that they hunt as a pack, and as we all know, teamwork conquers all. This pack of African wild dogs is ready to challenge these three cheetahs over a zebra carcass. The three cheetahs station themselves in defense ready to attack. Tired of being intimidated by their noises, one of the cheetah charges at the wild dogs. The wild dogs are however determined and will not back down. The other two cheetahs, seeing that they are outnumbered, flee, leaving their own behind. On noticing that it has been left all alone with almost nine wild dogs, the third cheetah finally flees and the wild dogs get to enjoy their victory. Truly, as much as size matters in the wild, numbers can as well do wonders at times. In this other video, a pack of wild dogs is happily digging into their antelope meal, unaware of a cheetah who wants to have a piece as well. As they are busy tearing their prey apart, the cheetah charges at them. 
This causes panic and chaos in the pack, and they scatter to different directions in fear. The cheetah then makes away with the carcass, and up the tree it climbs, hiding the carcass far from the reach of the wild dogs. What an easy meal! Number 5. Lioness vs. Cheetah Impalas can run at speeds of up to 90 kilometers an hour. They never run in a straight line, but rather in a zigzag manner, so as to outrun their predators. However, when one predator is specifically built for speed, cheetahs are Impalas' worst nightmare, for they can run at top speeds of 130 kilometers an hour, thus catching them is a walk in the park. This cheetah is choking its next impala meal and manages to successfully pin it down. The impala then throws its last kick and the cheetah begins dragging its kill to a more comfortable eating spot. However, a lioness, which has been watching the whole ordeal, is ready to challenge the cheetah for the impala. Outsized and tired from running, the cheetah flees just in the nick of time before the lioness can kill it. Lions are the biggest cheetah enemies and they sometimes kill cheetahs. The cheetah escapes hungry, but it will live to hunt again. And now let us joggle our minds a little bit, for it is riddle time. What animal is the best cricket player? Do you think you have the answer to our riddle of the day? Be the first to leave your answer in the comment section below. Number 4. Hyena vs. Lion Hyenas are among the most underestimated carnivores. They are referred to as the scavengers of Africa, as they are ruthless and cunning savages. Hyenas are quite opportunistic, known for feeding on prey while it's still alive, as well as stealing other predators' kills. They have powerful jaws and strong teeth capable of delivering a biting force of up to 1,100 pounds per square inch. This bite force is enough to crush bones and the skull. A pride of lions is happily munching on their buffalo carcass, but they are not alone. A pack of hyenas as well as rascals are all within the vicinity, ready to scavenge any leftovers from the carcass. The hyenas, however, grow impatient of waiting for their turn and move in to try and challenge the lions. The lions then become aware and uncomfortable of the approaching hyenas and dash to drive them away. As the lions advance on the hyenas, they leave the carcass unguarded and the rascal sees the opportunity to approach and steal the prey. Talk of being opportunistic. By the time the lions retreat to their meal, the jackals have had a few bites and one has even made away with a souvenir of a fleshy bone to go and enjoy in peace. The hyenas can only watch from far with hungry stomachs. Number 3. Leopard vs. Spotted Hyena The spotted hyena is the most social carnivorous mammal, also known as the laughing hyena. They are sturdily built with a less prominent mane and rounded ears. As scavengers, they have the ability to digest both bone and skin, and also other animal waste, a capability that other carnivores lack. Leopards are skilled, fast hunters, and hyenas being opportunistic are known to hang around them as they use every chance they get to chase away the leopard and steal its prey. This leopard is trying to take down a warthog by grabbing its neck. However, what appears to be a winning battle for the leopard is short-lived as a spotted hyena joins the leopard in strangling the warthog. The leopard, frightened by the sudden appearance of the hyena, lets go of the warthog's neck. The now-free warthog, probably angry and trying to save itself, attacks both the hyena and the leopard and tries to hit them with its sharp horns before fleeing away. Left with the hyena and with no meals anticipated, the leopard tries chasing after the warthog as the hyena follows closely behind. <laughs> Number 2. Crocodile vs. Lions This is because there are, if lucky enough, few or even no predators bold enough who seem to have just the right technique or set of skills to bring them down. The African buffalo is the fourth biggest land mammal and a member of the African Big Five game. Lions being apex predators remain the number one natural predators who prey on the African buffalo. However, to bring one down, the lions need both experience and numbers. They have to work as a pride for one buffalo is too much prey to handle for a single lion. This pride of lions 
has set its eyes on one meal today, an adult African buffalo. The lone buffalo has been chased down to a watering hole by the pride. The buffalo tries to outrun the lions, but they manage to corner it. In a bid to save its life, the buffalo decides to escape the pride by crossing over to the other side of the watering hole. As we all know, all members of the cat family, no matter the size, dislike water or getting wet, and the lions are of no exception. The buffalo manages to outsmart the lions, but unknown to the buffalo, the watering hole is home to the king of the rivers, a crocodile. From the pot into the frying pan kind of situation. The crocodile emerges from underwater and tries to bite the buffalo, which is almost halfway through its journey. On escaping the jaws of the crocodile, the buffalo is forced to make a U-turn back towards the lions, who are eagerly awaiting its return. Oh dear! The buffalo will now either be the pride's next meal or the crocodile's. Tired of swimming and afraid of the lions, the buffalo pauses at the shores of the watering hole. Everything comes to a standstill, and all the parties appear as if they have agreed on a truce. After regaining its energy, the buffalo decides it will not go down as an easy prey and resolves to challenge the lions while crying for help. Eventually, a herd of buffaloes appears and chases away the lions, rescuing their mate. The lions flee with frustrations and hungry stomachs, having learned that catching big game is an uphill task and only for the most qualified. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this jackal, which appears to be challenging an eagle for its rabbit prey from high up in the air. If you come across a mysterious photo that you want us to look into, just send it over to us and we might feature it on a future video. Now. We looked into this picture and are excited to reveal to you that there indeed exists such an encounter just like the one pictured. And this takes us to our number one, Eagle versus Two Jackals. Jackals are omnivorous canines. They are opportunistic scavengers and prey on small to medium-sized animals. They have large feet, long legs, and fused leg bones which give them a physique well suited to running for long distances at speeds of 16 kilometers an hour. In appearance, the jackal looks like a crossbreed between a fox and a German shepherd. They have the German shepherd's long and alert ears, as well as the fox's fluffy tail, delicate legs, and small face. Or don't you agree? The Steenbach is a solitary antelope that is small-sized. At first glance, one always concludes that they are still baby antelopes who are yet to grow unknown to them that they are actually fully grown adults who are at their prime age. Steenboks are the only type of antelopes to exhibit toilet etiquette in that they dig a hole and then defecate in it before covering it up when done. Weighing a mere 16 kilograms, the predators of the Steenbok are in abundance. This eagle has spotted a Steenbok and ready to have a fleshy meal. The Steenbach tries to outrun the eagle by running in a zigzag pattern, while taking sharp corners every time the eagle is about to grab it. This goes on and on, and just as it appears as if the eagle is giving up on the hunt, two jackals join the hunt and chase after the Steenbach. As if in communication, both the eagle and the jackals work together in unison to try and catch the Steenbach. As we know, being hunted is tiresome and scary, but imagine being hunted from the air and from the ground as well. It becomes scarier and worse. Eventually, the Steenbach manages to outrun the eagle from above and the jackals on its back and disappears into the bushy grassland. A stunning and rare moment indeed. And that's it for the 10 times animals fought over same prey. Which of these babies impressed you the most? And which one would you wish to come face to face with or even pet? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out our video on cutest wild baby animals.